Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, I wanted to just talk about something a little bit different. Rather than going through a massive automation, I've actually been thinking a lot about the value of automation and AI in business. I think it's really easy at the minute to just get really caught up in the YouTube hype around agents and automation and AI and what it can actually do. And it's really cool. Don't get me wrong. I really, it's really fun to, you know, explore new opportunities and learn new things about agents and how AI is, can, well, can be impactful and is innovating and taking the space forward. I, uh, but today I actually just want to bring it back to just talking about real world business value because I'm not seeing an awful lot of that right now, if I'm being totally honest, on, on the YouTube. So I had a friend call me two days ago and he was telling me about a recruitment agency that he's currently consulting in. And a pretty big problem that he identified is how much manual time they are spending on one task. And they have three team members working on this task two hours a day, um, which over the course of a year, is wasting around 30 to 40K per year. This is in pounds as well. So dollars wise, it's probably gonna be somewhere between 50, 55. And they're wasting that money every year because they are doing these manual tasks every day for two hours a day. Um, and today I just wanted to walk you through the case study of how we just solved this problem for them. I just wanted to talk about the real business value when it comes to AI and automation and agents as well, because we do have an agentic workflow um, to solve this problem. And you really don't have to have the fancy, crazy systems to get the value out of AI and automation. So I just wanted to highlight a very simple system today. Uh, and you can see on the right here, it's a very simple system that I built in Lindy to help this uh, this recruitment agency with one of their most painstaking tasks that they do every day, which is searching for new job opportunities. So the goal of just this project, this mini project that I worked on with my friend um, for, for this company was to reduce the time consuming manual effort of the recruiters, which costs the agency, you know, around about 40K annually. So let's just talk about the expensive manual process because that's what we're trying to remove here, right? So they have three team members spending around about two hours a day going onto LinkedIn and going to specific companies that they want to work with. So their ideal client profiles, their ICPs, they go onto these LinkedIn company pages and they see if there's any new jobs that have been listed. How laborious and time consuming is that? right? They've got three people doing that. So there's issues with this manual process, obviously. The first is it's extremely time consuming. That's the biggest issue, not going to lie. That is the actual biggest problem here. And then the, the other problems with that are it's inconsistent, right? So, you know, we got some team members spending a couple of hours. They don't hit all of the, they don't hit all of the um, company pages that they need to because you've got other things going on. And then humans are obviously prone to error. So they're spending around about 10 hours a week each on this, totaling 30 hours per week. It's an insane amount of time spent on a very laborious, re repetitive manual task. And this is where AI and automation can really help. With it. And it's not a hard problem to solve. So the impact is minimum 40K if we can solve this, mainly because, you know, in terms of salaries, it will probably save them around about 30,000 per year because they can spend those two hours on other things, but then there are other opportunity costs. So, you know, it's 30,000 on salaries, but there's likely things like lost revenue because they're spending those two hours a day on these repetitive tasks that aren't revenue generating. Maybe they're not spending as much time with clients as they could be. Maybe they don't have enough time to win as much business as they could have. And then you've got all the context switching between different tasks, right? The more tasks that we can take off a person's plate, the less time there is context switching, again, saving more time and easing up that time and resource to be spent somewhere else. So we'll get into the workflow in a second, but it's very simple. I used Lindy AI to create a workflow. The AI can grab the company data from a Google sheet. Then I set up an AI agent that has a very detailed prompt. So it knows exactly what it needs to do. Uh, it has access to web scraping tools so it can go to those LinkedIn company pages. It can look on those pages for any new jobs posted in the last 24 hours. And then it can come back into the workflow and then create a brand new sheet with today's new jobs, right? This is literally the task that they were spending two hours each doing. But because they have a list of around about 900 companies that fit their ICP, obviously their team can't check all of those companies every day, right? So, um, but the tool, this tool can. 
So this runs daily. The manual process is now is gone. And this is going to save them around about 1,500 hours annually, which is it's just a no-brainer. This is a simple problem to solve, and it's extremely valuable. So they get a report now like this. And one of the key things here, I just want to mention this, because this is um, undervalued and underthought about. The setup for this was zero disruption to, to their team. We didn't need to train them on a new tool. We didn't need to teach them how to do this new process. We didn't need to do anything. All that we did is set up this workflow. And now every day they get a daily job report that looks something like this, right? So you can see, here's the new jobs posted in, on Gymshark for 13 hours ago, three hours ago, four hours ago. This just removes that whole process flow. So yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video and just kind of show you how it works, really, just so that you can see a very simple automation uh, and the process. This kind of took me around about four hours to figure this out, just because there was a lot of testing that needed to be done in terms of getting the prompt right. So in Lindy, uh, it's very simple for us to get this moving. First off, I just put a message received trigger at the top so that I can just pass the, um, the workflow, the spreadsheet. So when I'm testing, I can just throw the spreadsheet in there and then it's gonna go, it's gonna know to figure out and go and get the spreadsheet. And then this was the first version. So I'm gonna show you the two versions that I, I spent a few hours uh, perfecting here. This first version was an agent that has two tools. It has a web browser tool that it can use to go and visit the URLs. Then it has an AI tool that it can use to then write a new output based off of what it's found on the website. So there is a prompt in here and it's very specific. You are the job URL scraping agent. Your goal is to extract a list of specific job URLs from each company LinkedIn URL. You've been given a sheet that has rows of companies and their LinkedIn company jobs page. Visit each LinkedIn company page URL provided in the sheet and scrape the data to find a list of the specific job listing URLs. Specific job URLs are the URLs that have forward slash jobs, forward slash view in the URL structure. So you can see how specific I'm being telling it about what it's looking for when it's scraping the web because I just found testing and just trying different prompts out and not putting all of this in there at the beginning that it was pulling loads of random links from LinkedIn, like marketing jobs or category related jobs that weren't specific for the company. So we, we really needed to you know, refine that after a while. And you can see the rest of the prompts here. You know, if you don't find any specific job URLs uh, that follow the structure, um, it just means that there's no new jobs posted that day and you just move on to the next company. Like, we needed to tell it this because it was getting confused about what it should do if it doesn't find a URL. It was grabbing other URLs. But you can only figure this out by just testing, testing prompts and then testing what output it is and then refining it. So yeah, even in here, look, I said, do not be fooled by URLs that contain forward slash jobs, but do not include the forward slash view. We do not want to list these URLs in our final list because they were the pages that would link to sort of marketing category jobs or whatever it may be. That's not what we were looking for. Um, so we were giving it this task and then we were asking it to find all of those job URLs and then create a list of job URLs. Um, so once the list of job URLs is created, we were then asking the second agent to go to LinkedIn because it has a LinkedIn, no, a LinkedIn tool here. So it can pull a job listing by the URL. So we wanted it to take the, the job URLs and then go to that job listing page, pull some information from it, then create a sheet, then add new rows to the sheet for each one of the jobs. This was too complicated in the end. I'm not going to go through the prompt. It's not really that important because we didn't end up using this. You know, we had in my, in my mind, it made sense at the beginning because it was like, okay, well, I'm going to have one agent that has a task to go and just find the job URLs by using the web scraping tool. And then I'm going to have another agent visit each job URL and then compile the spreadsheet. And to compile the spreadsheet, it needs to first create a sheet and then it needs to be able to append rows. Through a bunch of testing, I found out that it didn't need to do that. So I actually ended up with this much simpler structure here. So you can see now on a recurring schedule, so daily, it's going to go to the spreadsheet that has the company names in and the company um, LinkedIn URLs. And we just have one prompt here, right? So it's the same prompt that I just showed you a minute ago. We're going to use Gemini Flash to complete it. It knows what it needs to do. And then once it has all of the company job URLs, it can create a spreadsheet. 
And we don't even need to tell this node what to do because we just leave everything on auto here. And the way that Lindy's built, the workflow and sort of like the context window that it passes down from each node, it knows what it needs to do. And then it pumps out this job report every day. It's really amazing that we were able to free up five figures worth of uh, resources for this company that they can spend elsewhere. And I would just implore you, if you're a business owner as well, um, where are these manual tasks that your team are spending hours on? And what kind of AI, simple AI workflows can you put in place to just remove that? You know, um, there's got to be loads of them. So try and figure that out for your business. And uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Like I say, this one's a little bit different, but I just wanted to record a video because I just found this super interesting. I've been thinking a lot about how AI and automation is really having an impact on businesses right now. I think I've got a little bit too caught up in the YouTube hype and all the crazy things that people are building and can do, but I've got a lot of business owners in my network and I've been reaching out and speaking with those guys recently. And those fancy big automations are not solving their problems. So that's what this channel is going to be dedicated to moving forward. It's going to be trying to figure out how can we actually solve business problems with affordable software tools, AI solutions, and automations, and combining all those things together to create things that work for people. So if you did find that useful, do like and subscribe on the video. That really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you've got any feedback, any sort of stories to share, any war stories of like the the amount of resource that you've been able to save in your business with some of this stuff, uh, let me know. I would love to know about it. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.